The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Esavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, folks, uh, we're going to talk about hogs here for that same reason. When we were beginning the show, Rich uh, said that the uh, one of the big hog uh, fundamentalists came out and said to sell hogs this morning on the opening. And of course, it's had a pretty big run up here. I, when I when I talk about these folks, when you see whether they've made a, a decision to do something and is wrong, I am certainly not. Uh, trying to say, you know, badmouth them in any way because everybody has their right to the, their own opinion. I really believe that. Let me tell you a quick little story. Back in the 70s, uh, from 1968, when Conti Commodity opened there on Wilshire Boulevard there in uh, East uh, West L.A., right by uh, UCLA, uh, there were about, uh, they had seven brokers in the office. They had several hundred customers. I happened to be one of the larger customers, and I had gotten lucky, and I'd made really big money. Well, seven figures was a lot of money back in those days, especially when you come from a little town in Indiana where not many people made that kind of money. But as the market was going up, many traders were, you know, my friends that were trading there would have trouble. They'd go into debits, and I was making a lot of money. So I was, a, oh, God, I tell you how arrogant I was, folks. I mean, I don't even want to tell you some of the stories because they, they laughed about it later. But uh, mainly what I wanted to do was to, to to bring this to your attention, the fact that we're looking at this here today in the Hawks because we said yesterday that it was going to make an equal move right here. It's exactly what it did, okay? And that was right at the 3A2. It was logically ready to take profits today. Now is today is the day to take the profits. And the reason why is I didn't finish the story Let's do this first, and then I'll finish the story. We have a 135 pattern set up now in hogs. This is still a bear market, folks. You can see it there. It is right now. There's your, there's your one. There's your three. There's your five. This move should have extended that far, and it extended almost to the exact amount. You can see that how it's how it's almost at the exact level. That makes this a perfectly symmetrical one three five pattern it really is so we're just going to take a look at this and put this over here like that because there was the ABCD to the downside now the last thing we want to do and I can tell just by looking at it that the symmetry is off just a bit but oh, we got to do got to put the other one in otherwise you won't be able to see it and you'll see it doesn't quite react it actually comes nearer to the low so you don't have good symmetry but you have everything else you have a 50% retracement of this high right here and if you measure from your high on this November the 6th down to where we are you're setting exactly at the 61 percent retracement right here so this is the place where you want to be getting out of long hawks and possibly even going short that's what I would be looking at so that's why I'm watching the hawks here uh, today finishing the story over a period between 1972 and 1974, I think I gave as loans about a little under 50 grand, maybe 48,000, something like that. Of that, I probably got 30,000 of it back. Some of it I just never expected to get back. Uh, other, I got a few assets that someone gave me a, a painting or something like that, a wristwatch. I didn't want to take it, but that's what they wanted to do. But I kept doing that until I went under which was in October of uh, 1974, and that's when I learned humility. Hold on, we got a caller coming in. It's John from Philly. John, what can I do for you today, my friend? Larry, please finish that story about humility in 1974. <laughs> yeah, well, I learned it the hard way, and uh, the good part was is I still retained all the friends, and it was uh, really something. But, you know, some of the things that I did, John, were so – Oh, God, they were so abusive to other people that I just can't believe I did it. Someone would sell a pork belly, and I said, how can you sell pork bellies here? They're going to be going up for another five days. That's a silly trade. I would say stuff like that. 
And uh, none of the other brokers ever, you know, said anything to me or not because I did a lot of business there or not. But it wasn't until, you know, I went under and people, you know, no one ever came up to say, well, how does it feel now? No one ever did that. I had I had that feeling all by myself. And, John, I know you've gone through it, too. But until you go through it, uh, you, you have to have that humility uh, there in the markets because, boy, these are humbling experiences here in the market when you're when you're trading these things. I tell you, it's very, very uh, – very, very difficult. Anyway, what can I do for you, my friend? Larry, uh, I had an analogous epiphany and experience, and mine came 13 years after yours. Yeah. Well, we all have them. <laughs> and the one thing, and, good, John, we um, don't have to go through it twice. And, That's the best uh, part. <laughs> yeah, the funny thing about uh, life uh, has, a, uh, <clears throat> has a knack for slapping you around good. Yes. And uh, frankly, uh, I think humility is only learned uh, by that mechanism, being slapped around. Um, some people learn it quickly. Some slow learners, like myself, got to slap me around a couple of times before it sinks in on me. Yeah, that's for sure. That is absolutely for sure. Anything you see in the markets today that make you exciting, John? Uh, I'm calling you to ask if you post your chart work. Sure. On soybeans, I'm focused upon okay. the old crop soybean contracts. Okay. The January that, contract is about to expire, so, so it's the March we'll, contract, which we'll is the lead the, contract. We're uh, here right full now. Full disclosure: I bought uh, a couple of contracts uh, somewhere around 10 a.m. this morning. Okay. Um, I can see potential that. Today and yesterday's lows, that's 1234 and 36 uh -huh. respectively, have carved out a short-term low. Um, so I wanted to see what you saw in your charts on that particular topic, please. Well, looking at the daily on the March, I've got the daily up here so everybody can see it. Uh, we're trading about four cents under the 61% retracement. The fact that we went below it, for several days is not unusual, uh, especially when you have weakness in meal like we've had. But the soybean oil has been, which we've been long, has been, uh, you know, very very strong. It's up over a thousand dollars since we bought it down there at forty six sixty, and I'm recommending that uh, you know put your stop and break even because. If the oil looks much more bullish to me than the beans do, but the beans still have a chance. John, you've got the right price because it's rallied about uh, 13 cents off the bottom today. So if it, sh it should not take that low out at 12.33. That's that's what you're, which, which I would say the risk is. If you were above the 6.18, I'd feel a little more comfortable. But you know, beans do that sometimes. So I'm not going to be uh, negative to this position because I do like it. You're, this is the first update. We're just barely up. The first update out of eight, as you can see here, we've gone down one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight days. Today's the first day up, and that's all we need is a little bit of a rally, and this thing could, you know, have legs to the upside. So that's what I'm seeing here in, in the March beans. Yeah, I appreciate that. We'll uh, we'll take it one step at a time. Just parenthetically, I'll I'll. Uh mention in the tiger's den i posted oh stay with us stay with us we got a couple more minutes yet stay with us we'll be back with john chevney here from uh tfnn and chat room and we'll be right back Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. 
Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education investors. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tiger's Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TFA. NN.com. Call now. Toll free at 1 877 927 6648. Internationally at 727 873 7618. Okay, we're back, folks. We're talking with John C. from Mr. Z from the trading room there at TFNN. John, you're making a comment. Please continue. Yes, Larry, uh, let me just uh, summarize three key points on these beans. One, uh, the decline we've had of over 10% in the past three, four weeks. The fundamental driver that's precipitated the selling has been improvement in what had previously been adverse weather, growing weather, down in Brazil. So that crop is now uh, uh, in uh, full bloom. And a decent crop seems to be uh, almost baked into the cake. That's number one. Number two, um, I observe the spot soybean contract low. Well, I believe that was like October, was down at uh, 1251. And then we bounced into November. Now here in the past 10 days, we've come down, traded below 1251. And now we're threatening to snap back above that level. Uh, with this formation, a pattern that comes into play that was taught to me by uh, somebody I know you know, Larry, Jim Flanagan, out in oh, the sure. Los Angeles area. Um, yep. He would call 1251 low, lower low 1234 uh, this morning snap back above 51 should that occur he call that a bear trap to a bottom pattern of course it doesn't guarantee a bottom but it's certainly a candidate and then the third point larry i just uh make mention in the tiger's den i posted the monthly in chart going back seven years so we can see lots of history i'll uh, just observe on that that the fall low of 2021 
was right down in the $12 area. So we're effectively there. And um, uh, I just can envision a scenario in which we set a low kind of in the neighborhood of a prior low and then something else happens. So uh, so I appreciate your help, but that is what attracted me to bottom picking in here. That's not a bad play. I like it. Your risk is controlled, and that's what you have to worry about, my friend. So stay with your game so plan. Larry, You're going to be just fine. Uh, I'm sorry to interrupt. I did want to ask you, you've got uh, – you, you mentioned the um, – uh, study for the uh, uh, study or uh, foundation for the study of cycles meeting ongoing. I believe yes. I heard you mention Prechter on uh, uh, on on the docket to speak. And uh, if if I heard you correctly, what I can tell you is um, uh, uh, he will be the talk of the town, or lots of people will be very interested in what he has to say. Because it was two years ago, he came up with a Dow Jones Industrial uh, Average calculation, a calculated rally target yeah. of 37,775. Mm-hmm. Interestingly, the high in the Dow was Tuesday was just 40 points higher than that. Uh, and, of course, we have no idea whether or not that was a top. Uh, of any consequence or not. Of course, only time will tell on that. But um, with uh, Prechter having made that calculation a couple of years back with the price high last week, lots of people, I'm sure, are going to be interested in his interpretation thereof. I agree 100%. When I uh, saw that number hit, I saved that chart from, from two years ago. It was November of 21. And I copied it and I sent it to him, but I never hit. I never did hear anything. I didn't expect to hear anything because, you know, you and I were just uh, we're pebbles in the sea. So they're out there on the cruise ships, and <laughs> we're just trying to you know scrape a, scrape a few bucks off the shoreline. And these guys get all the headlines, which is fine. But I I thought that that was a tremendous price, uh, you know, price pro- projection. And uh, that's exactly what it was. He was looking for a top in 21, which came in January of 22, but it wasn't the top. The top, we don't even know where the top is as of yet, but we did go higher. So I'm anxious to see that today if he even brings that up. So we'll, uh, you know, that, well, uh, you want, you know, John, there's an old uh, Polish proverb that says, if you keep your mouth shut and remain a fool it's better than if you open the mouth and remove all doubt so i'm not going to say uh, any more uh, about precisely that. <laughs> precisely right larry i like that saying very much actually it was an italian proverb i don't even know if it was polish or not it doesn't make any difference <laughs> hey listen buddy larry, we appreciate uh, thanks, everything thanks you for do. your input yeah. on that soybean contract and uh yeah we'll take it step by step okay you got it all right let's move on here we've already covered the hogs here and so we're going to we'll be watching those tomorrow now. And now the next one we want to take a look at here, uh, I guess, uh, well, there's no sense going through. Yes, there is. Let me just go through what John was telling us about here. Let me get this up here. I want to get this. This is the Dow Jones. This is the Dow Jones futures. OK, now this is not the cash. John was talking about the cash. Now, here's the ABCD in the futures. It measured to thirty eight thousand one hundred. 1112 okay and the high was on the uh, 29th 38,113 it was one tick off of what that ABC and I double checked this mathematically in other words I added B and C together subtracted A that gives me point D right there at 381112 and the high on that day right here which was January the 5th was 38113 so it was one point higher so we have to view that as a failure because it went one tick higher if it's not perfect my goodness you certainly can't count that would you just like this one here was off about 10 points anyway this is what we've have, had happen now since that time since we're 
talking about this. Very interesting what happened yesterday because we were expecting this time period between the 8th and the 10th to be really big. And so we'll get up here. We'll just look at the 13-minute chart here. Here's where we were yesterday. If you remember, I went through this whole sequence of the ABCD to the downside here. This is simple ABCD. There's ABCD. Uh, it measures to 37483. The low was 34770. So it missed that one by 13 pips. Then it went up and made a new high. It did not. It, it exceeded the 61% retracement of the high back here. It did not make the 78. But then we broke today, and you'll see here today's low. If you just go back and look at these numbers, and believe me, these folks that are out there know these numbers. We went down to the 61% retracement, stayed there for well over an hour. Then we had a rally, the rally back went right up to the guess what right to, to almost a 61 percent retracement misses it by a little bit uh, there it is right there so we missed it by a little bit the dow joe the e-mini s p however was absolutely spot on now all i got to do is find it right here and get up the uh, 60 minute and you'll be able to see it here's where we are Okay, now there is the rally that we had yesterday. There was the 382 off of the bottom right here. There was a 382 off of the bottom today, okay? We went up and made a new high here, folks. Did you see that? We just made a new high. Whether that means much, we'll have to wait and see. We'll be right back with Mike Moore of Moore Analytics. Stay tuned. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously when you sign up for the tiger forex report you also gain instant access to teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted forex strategies and fundamentals what is behind the tiger forex report for all the details and to start your 30-day tiger forex report subscription today visit the front page of tfnn.com tfnn educating investors Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. 
Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Hey, we're back, folks, and I believe we have Mike Moore of Moore Analytics in the house. Mike, are you there? How are you, Larry? Happy New Year. Happy New Year to you, my friend. What are we looking at today? What do you think is going to be happening here? Well, we got a lot of uh, interesting moves afoot and just about to happen. So, Okay, why don't you tell us to start off with the oil market. I think that would be to do the whole complex, too. I think that would be great for us to see it all. Okay, just give me a second here. Can you see my screen all right? I think so. We're in business. That's what all they're right. telling me here at TFNN. You want to start with oil or natural gas? Uh, either one would be uh, either one would be fine. It just I think the difference. Uh, let's start out with the uh, with the, the uh, crude oil. That's right. Um, so basically, I'm just going to do a high level thing, uh, a high level view on the crude oil in general, and this sort of goes for uh, the unleaded gas and the heating oil. The same structure is there. This main structure that we have down from September of 2023. Is very similar to what we see in the unleaded gas and the heating oil. My contention okay. is that we may be in a macro bullish correction against it. We hit some of the targets that we had um, in the RBOB. We'd had that target we talked about on the last show up in here at uh, 221.68, rallied all the way up, held that, and rolled over here. But the heating oil never reached its minimum target, which was up here at the 278.30 area. We rallied all the way up there, came back down, and we've had a, this lower time frame structures in here. So um, I'll go back to the crude in a second, but this structure right here is a completed bearish structure with a completed bullish correction right here. So right now, this is at a key area right in here, just these couple lines right here. Either this is going to hold and roll over and start a new bearish structure. Or if we break above this line right here, I think this could project this up and maybe hit that target right there. We've already broken above a bullish formation right here. So this is where looking at other commod, um, this is where looking at the products can help you in trading the crude oil. So right now, the heating oil is broken above a bullish formation that projects it higher. Keeping in mind that we still have to deal with these two, two exhaustion levels. Once it takes out the upper one right here, then that suggests we're going to head right up to this level and maybe head up to these levels. That level right there is going to come in at 268.84 to 269.29. But before that, we have this level here, which is even uh, a formidable level of 264.97 to 265.75. And we also have this main uh, for, um, formation line coming in here, and that comes in at um, – That comes in at 265.65. So before I jump around too much, let me just give you a little, we're gonna kind of go backwards here. We're gonna start with the heating oil, okay? Uh, um, the trade above uh, 259.34 projects this upward seven cents minimum, 11 cents plus maximum. And then I, that warned about these two exhaustion levels right there. If we take out the higher level right there, that'll project this upward another 14 cents. OK, and just as a reminder to the viewers, if you want to. A reminder of how that translates into crude dollars, you just do that times 0.42 and a 14 cent move in heating oil would be the equivalent of five dollars and 88 cents in crude oil. So That's eight hundred dollars. That's a lot of money. Exactly. So it'll be a formidable move. If we were to break above this line decently and fail back down through it decently, then that would warn of heavy pressure to come in, and that would also be in alignment with the new bearish structure. So um, so the point being, from what we were just talking about, the heating oil is the first one, the first one to break above a bullish formation, which can be a harbinger of what you're going to see in the RBOB <clears throat> and the crude oil. Now, interestingly, the RBOB, <clears throat> broke below a bearish formation yesterday. Saw the projection we were looking for to the downside. And this is kind of rare when these diverge like this. The R-Bob right here, I'd said the break below 20.97.10. Uh, 
uh, would bring in pressure. We saw eight dollar uh, eight point nine nine cents pressure before holding an exhaustion level down here and bouncing a bit. And then the crude oil. And again, I know I'm jumping around a little bit, but it'll make no, sense. No, you're doing you're doing just fine. You're making a great case for this. This is perfect. Okay. This is what we'd like to see. Now the crude oil is between this main formation right here and this main formation right here. So this this is waiting to see whether it, we're going to pop to the upside and see significant strength or whether this is going to roll over down below. So right now your, your unleaded gas is below a bearish formation, but your heating oil is above a bullish formation. So these are going to have to reconcile one way or the either one way or the other. So either the R Bob is going to get back above its formation here and then start to rally. And this formation, we're not that far away from it. That comes in at 210.88. Mm -hmm. um, 210.88 plus three ticks per hour starting at 2 o'clock p.m. Decent trade above there will we'll warrant a decent strength. What do I mean by decent strength? If we get above there, we're probably going to head up to test these areas at least at uh, 217.34. And then we have another formation right above it that comes in at um, excuse me a second, comes in at 213.27, and then an even bigger formation up here that comes in at um, 217.83. So from a trader's perspective, it's a nice setup because you already know that the heating oil is broken above a bullish formation. If it gets, if the, if the RBOB got above here, you could get long, long above this formation. Once it breaks above this next formation, move your stop structure up underneath that and once you broke above this formation, move your whole stop structure underneath that, and then you'd be, or add on to your positions, and then you'd be layered in for a sizable uh, move to the upside from here. And if we saw that, those projections, that could be to six or seven grand per contract just from the upper levels, let alone being long for three grand a contract from the lower levels. So the, the, the heating oil has been uh, the leader of the market so far. Right. It is the strongest out of the three relative to the other two. Okay. Okay. So if this comes off, the, heat, the, the gas would be the weakest. And we can tell that, again, by looking at the spreads. Uh, we looked at this the other, the other day in the last show. We broke below this formation, which got us bearish. We've been coming off. Then we broke below this major formation, which got us even more bearish, and another bearish formation. So you can see the difference, just paying attention to the difference in these contracts right there. That's to the tune of six grand um, being long the heating oil versus the uh, unleaded gasoline or vice versa. Okay, good, good. And the heat, heating oil crack also, we broke above this formation, uh, which I said to get long above right here. And just in a couple days there, you know, you're talking almost two grand per contract, whereas the RBOB crack is still below. Wow. Uh, go, could you formation. go back to that? Go back to that first one. That first, he uh, he cracked. yeah, the one, the one that's, yeah, that one right there. That is really yeah. amazing. Now, t tell, explain to the folks, including the old cowboy out here in Tucson, what you're <laughs> looking at when you're looking at this chart. So this is called a heat crack. The reason why it's called a crack is because when the crude oil comes into the refinery, it goes through a process called a, a cracker, and it basically cracks out of it or breaks Mike, out of it. Wait a minute, gas the heat. Stop we got to yep. do this again because we just went into a break and I want you to do the whole thing from the beginning explaining what that is, okay? No worries, yep. Okay, we'll be right back, folks. Mike Moore of More Analytics. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. 
the Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Okay, we're back, folks, with... Uh Mike Moore of Moore Analytics here at TFNN, so please continue, Mike. How are you, Larry? Can you hear me okay? Coming in perfect. Yes, we're going to be talking okay, you about... you still see my uh, heat crack up here? Heat crack is on the okay. screen as we see it right now, yes. So, by the way, just to, just to say this to any listeners or watchers, uh, look, I understand understanding new concepts can be a little bit confusing, and sometimes we just check out when people present a new concept. But if you can just bear with me a moment here and drill down and really pay attention to what I'm showing you here, this is one of the most powerful things that you can learn as far as trading energies to give you an edge. There's, no, there's three spreads that are important. The Arbob the heat spread, which is the spread between the products of crude oil. And there's the heat crack, which is the spread between the product of heat and the underlying crude. And then there's the RBOB crack, or RBOB is another word for unleaded gasoline. And there's the RBOB crack, which is the spread between the, the unleaded product of the underlying crew. If you understand the relationship and what those spreads are doing, it gives you a huge advantage because the products are leading the direction of the crude oil 85 to 90% 90 of the time. Okay. So this spread is the spread between the heat and the crude. The front part of the spread is the heating oil, and the second part of the spread is crude. So if you are long or bullish the heat crack, that means you are long the heat and you are short the crude. When this is moving upward, it means that the heat is strong relative to the crude, or the crude is weak relative to the heating oil. So the underlying market could be going down, but this spread could be going up because the um, the crude oil is going down wow. harder than the heating oil. Okay, I got and two questions. Sure the market could be going up, or the spread could be going. The market could be going up, and the heat would be going up stronger than the crude oil. Does that make sense? 
It makes sense. I have a question for you, Mike. I haven't yeah. traded spread since uh, Hector was a pup and that dog 72 years old. The thing that I'm going to ask you here, when you put a spread on, you put it on as a spread. In other words, you buy the heating oil, sell the crude, or is there a function that they have that will show you that you're going to be in the spread? In other words, you know, long July oil, short July meal, something like that. Does it have to be put on each leg separately? You have to be very careful with the – platform that you're trading through and you need to ask them a very direct question if I, first of all you got to ask, see if your platform even allows you to trade the spreads okay cqg is an excellent platform where you can trade all of these but other platforms have limited functions mm -hmm. if they allow you to trade this spread you have to ask them when you are trading the spread am i trading the exchange traded spread itself on the exchange or am i trading a synthetic spread that my platform is putting together for me by executing both of the outrights separately. Wow. Does that make sense? Yeah, it makes sense. It's not for the faint of heart, but it certainly makes sense. But it's important, though, because you really want to be trading the exchange traded spread if you're going to be trading the spread because other haywire things can happen otherwise. But nonetheless, even if you're not trading the spread, the spreads are very pretty thin but you can catch enormous moves in them, so even the slippage can be worth it. But they, what they, the, the power is what they tell you in how to trade the outrights. So obviously right now, if you were long this heating oil instead of the crude on this move up, just in the past two days, you'd be making two grand more per contract just on that move. And since this is the one that broke out on the upside, if this whole move starts to really get underway, you're likely to make far more money being long the heating oil than the crude oil or the Arbot. Okay, cool. All right. Um, you want me to jump to the Arbot? Or to yes, the sir. I want to see these track spreads. I, I, I like these. these. These are very interesting. They, they give you information that I'm not access to. So please continue. And by the way, just, you know, I don't really go over it on my analysis, but my analysis, I do all the outrights. And then on the bottom, I have all of these cracks and these spreads down below. So they tell you which ones to be long, which ones to be short, and what the biases are. And it's also a great other source of revenue because you could be, you, you could just be long the heating oil right here and short the crude oil itself in this spread and be making two grand off. Now, the margins are much less on a spread. Is that correct? Yes. Okay, good. Much, is about 50%, 50% less, or what is the percentage less? Do you know what it is offhand? I haven't checked recently, but okay. – um, they're not significantly less in the crack as they are on like a calendar spread would be different. But um, So let me just jump to the natural right here because we did have an important move that happened today. Oh, uh, we sure I'd, did. I'd, I'd said in the natural gas here, we've been bullish since the break above 221.80. We'd seen 840 ticks of that coming into this morning. But I also said, see this line right here? I said solid trade above 301.80 will warn of solid strength for days slash weeks. Um, and I, I rarely ever use the term solid. Solid would be a term that I use in replacement of decent. It's a specific number that would be different. Uh, I send that out in my morning emails to uh, my traders and clients. But any, nonetheless, you can see I broke above this line just today. And as we broke above um, 301.18, and we're really screaming to the upside right here. 301.18 was right about in here this morning. So we popped above there, really starting to see that. And I think that that's going to likely bring in trade back up into these levels, up into the uh, 364.30 area, probably test above there. So significant move in there. And we'd also talked, I think, on the last show that, you know, we were making this sort of basing uh, figurine here. We broke above here. That's where it first got bullish here. Then we get bullish in here, more bullish in here. And then just yesterday, we'd fail below a formation, failed to see the pressure come in. But I said if we broke back above it to look for decent short carbon or strength to come in, and we've seen that strength coming in right in there. Wow. So you want to take a look? Any questions on that? Or you want to take a look at the other No, no, that's great. Go to the next one. That'll be fine. How's do natural gas? What's that? Have we done natural gas yet? Yeah, I that's natural did. gas I was just looking at. Okay. All right, let's, okay. let's, let's move on to um, – the next one you want to talk about is fine with me. If you want to do the uh, S&P, that'd be great. Yeah, S&P here is really key because we're in a really critical area right now. 
you, I'm sure a lot of you have been watching the show for a while, so you know that I've been bullish since uh, 41.15. You held out with the 41.22.25 low and bounced 719.25. We had a lot of other bullish formations I won't go over. I put those all on hold because I warned we were likely in the last stretch of the structure up from 3502. And I said, if we start a bearish correction, it'll have a minimum target of 512 points down from the high. So that target would currently be 4329.5 on the downside. We've seen 139.5 of that. Okay. And uh, we had a couple other bearish formations. Those are on hold because we're in a lower time frame move up against this move down from the highs. Okay. So I said we're in a lower time frame bullish correction to trend against the move down from 48, 4150, with final possible exhaustion right here above at 4808 and a quarter to 48,1175. That's a little bit different okay. right now. Okay. Let's take a break. We're going to be right back with Mike Moore of More Analytics, and he's going to give us some more information. We'll be right back with Mike. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no cash or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, we're back with Mike Moore of Moore Analytics, and could we do the gold market, uh, Mike? Sure. <clears throat> Okay, the gold, 
We just completed a bearish structure here, <clears throat> had a bullish correction against it, and I believe that this is the start of a new bearish structure to the downside. Unless okay. we take out this formation above, which is going to come in at, give me a second here, at 20, 60, 70, minus two ticks per hour, starting at 1.30 p.m. <clears throat> if we break above there, that'll project this up with $40 plus. But otherwise, I think that this is poised to continue lower. And from a very higher time frame basis, <clears throat> just as a reminder, I think that this may have been the last stretch here of the entire move up from 2015 of, no of, of November. And this could possibly be the failure back down below all these highs could be the beginning of a new higher time frame bearish correction. If it is, the minimum projection for that is 1681.60. Wow. Mike, how do the folks reach you if they'd like to, you know, avail of your letter yeah. and stuff? Can you sure. give us a you can reach me here? Everybody see that all right? Yep. We're in good the shape. Just read it. Com. Yeah, yeah. No, Speed, read no. it slowly because people are in their cars. You know, they want to I'm listen sure. to it. So It's it's moreanalytics.com and more is spelled M. O O R. There's no E at the end. It's just M O O R analytics.com. Or you can always That's call great. me on my phone. So, or email me at uh, moreanalysis at gmail.com. But the website listen. is not more analysis, it's, it's moreanalytics.com. Okay, now listen, we're going to have you on again very, very short, but probably next week. So stay tuned and we'll have you on back again to look at some of these other crack spreads and things because people need to look at this. Thank you very much, Larry. I appreciate it. Thank you, you Mike. Yep, you Mike Moore Analytics, a class act, and we'll see you all on the flip side tomorrow, and may God bless. Mm -hmm.